Hello, this is Harold Nolte from Sudoku Primer. Yes, this is the Smart Hobbies channel. Smart Hobbies and I have collaborated by publishing each other's videos. Thank you, Timberlake, for being willing to do this. To see his video on my channel, go to the link in the description below. It was published yesterday. On the Sudoku Primer channel, I solve without marking candidates. You can learn more about my techniques and patterns on sudokuprimer.com. You'll also find lots, lots more interesting Sudoku information out there. You can read about Sudoku myths and Sudoku history, and you can download free blank Sudoku grids. I'll solve this puzzle, which was solved by Smart Hobbies on January 28th, but I won't mark any candidates. There's a link to Timberlake's solve in the description below. You can see how he solved it, and in this video you'll see how I solve it without candidates. I'd rate this puzzle as hard. It had some tricky spots, but finding lots of patterns and twins at first helped us move along pretty quickly. First of all, I'm going to put in a couple of really easy numbers here. And now I want to talk about um, the opposite pattern. This, this puzzle has three boxes with the opposite pattern in it. The opposite pattern is when you have a number in opposite corners. You could have other numbers in the box also, like this one here. But if you have two numbers in opposite corners, it's considered the opposite pattern. Now with the opposite pattern, like let's look at this box right here. If we have a one, two numbers, like a one and a two here, going through the middle of the box, and the same two numbers going through the middle of the box in the column, like here, one and two, you have one, two twins here. So you have one and two there, one and two there, so these are one, two twins. We also have one, three, one, three, so in this box right here, we have one three twins here. And here we have a two and a three and a two and a three. So these are two three twins. So already we've got a lot of information about this. Now the opposite pattern, when you solve um, the twins, if you, if you find twins and you solve them, it turns into a plus pattern where you have four numbers, one in each corner. In this case, we can't solve the 1, 2 here, the 2, 3 here, and the 1, 3 here, but um, there we know that where they go, and because of that, we have a hidden plus pattern. Because the only numbers we don't know about in here, we know this is these are 1, 3 twins, we don't know about these numbers here. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. I want to show you also here, we've got a 1 and a 2 here, and a 1 and a 2 in this column. So we have one, two twins here, which makes a hidden T pattern. And again, these patterns I'm talking about are, are all uh, documented on sudokuprimer.com. So we have a hidden T pattern here with this one, two here. We got a T, T right there. Okay. And now I'll show you how we can use those. We've got a nine right here. So the only place a nine can go is here or here in this T pattern, this hidden T pattern here. And here we've got a hidden plus pattern. So the nine can only go here or here. And therefore the nine can only go here. And in this box, it can only go here. So we know a lot about nines right now. Now, because of the, we've got a three right here and a three right here, we know these, these are, um, the numbers 1 and 2. So the only place a 3 can go in this box is here or here. So we have a 3 here, ghost 3's here, and so the 3 in box 3 can only be there or there. With that 3 there, we can fill this one in. All right. Now, 
let's look at, we got threes here and a three here. So the three in box nine can only go here or here. But we have a gate pattern right here with a three going through it and a three here. So one of these is a three. So we have a three, ghost threes. We know that is a three. All right, now let's look at uh, box five right here. Remember we have, we have a nine here, ghost nines here, ghost nines here, and ghost nines here. We have a six here and six here. So these are six nine twins. These are two three twins. And therefore these are four eight twins. We have three sets of twins right here that we know about. All right. And because of that, we know that we've got in, in box two here, we've got a one two here. I'm yeah, one two here and one two here. So these are one two twins. We've got a four right here, so we know one of these is a four. With this three and this three and this three, we know one of these is a three. And one of these is a four, we just determined. So we have three, four here, three, four here. So one of these is a four. This can't be a four right there. So we know that's a four. All right, and with that four filled in, we got a seven there, seven there. So we can put a seven there, seven, seven, seven. So that's a seven right there. And now let's look at, remember these are two, one, two twins here. So this is six, eight, and nine. Now, first off, we have six and a nine here, but we, we can't solve any of those. But that tells us what these three numbers are. We already know this is a three and a four, three, four twins. So that's got to be a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a five. And so now we have six, nine there. We got four, eight there. Six and nine are the only two numbers left in this column. So we'll remember that. All right, we also know these are six, nine twins here. So these are four, five, and eight. We've got a four and an eight there. So that's a five. We've got a four there, so that's a four, and that's an eight. All right, now we've got some twins up here. We've got an eight and a five here, eight and a five there. So that's eight and five right there. With this eight, we can solve them. All right, and uh, we only have two numbers left, six and nine in this box. There's a six, so that's a nine, and that's a six. And remember our six, nine twins right there. We can solve them now. Six and nine there. All right, now I know this is an eight. And the way I know that is there's a couple of techniques we have to use to find that out. First of all, we have four eight twins right there. We've got a um, gate pattern right here with a four going through it and a four here. So we know one of these is a four. So we have four, four, four. These are four eight twins. One of these is a four, so we know neither of these can be an eight. If one of these were an eight, we'd have a UR situation, unique rectangle situation, and the puzzle would have two solutions. So we know the eight has to go here, here, or here. So in this box right here, we have an eight here or here. In this box, we have an eight here or here. Using double column elimination, these two columns are taken care of in this box because of the eights here and the eight here. So that has to be an eight right there. All right, now we've got four, five, and six left here. We've got a five and six there, so that's a four. With that six, we make that a five and that a six. So we've got that taken care of. All right, now we only have a six and nine left there. With that six, we can fill those in. 
because remember these are one two twins and look at that we've got one two twins here one two twins there two, two sets of twins we found right off and we've got almost everything finished except for these twins that we found All right, now we have a four eight here, if you remember. That four lets us helps us fill those in. All right, let's look at this row right here. We're missing one, five, seven, nine. One, five, seven, and nine. Five, seven, nine. One, nine. One, five, nine. One five seven nine. So that's a seven right there. So we have one five and nine left. One five nine, one nine, five nine. So we can't solve any of those yet. All right. Um, and now we've got a seven here, seven here, seven here, seven here. So that's a seven right there. And these are two and nine right here because these are 1 and 3. 2 and 9 are the only two numbers left. So these are 5 and 6. And with that 6, we can fill, fill those in. All right, now we're only missing 1, 2, 3, and 9 right here. we got a 3 and a 9 there. With that 9, we can fill those in. We have one and two left. There's a two there, so that's a two. That's a one. All right, now with that three, we can fill in the one and the th three there. And we have two and three here. With that, we can solve those. All we have left is six and nine there, which we can't solve yet. All right, now we're missing three and four here. We've got a three there. And one and two there. So that's a one right there and a two right there. We're only missing one and nine in this row right here. There's a one right there. All right, and there's six and a nine there. With that nine, we can finish them. All right, what are we missing here? Five, six, five and six. That six, we can fill them in. Here we're missing four and eight. Can't solve those yet. All right, one and two, uh, we could have probably done this earlier, but we got busy with other stuff. There's a two right there, so we can finish those. And we got a one here, one here, so we can Put a one there. Eight and nine are missing there. Got an eight there, so we can finish those. And now we can finish the two and the nine right there. All right, now we've got two, four, five, eight. Two, four, five, and eight there. Let's see. Five and eight there. There's a five. So that's an eight and that's a five right there. And now we're missing two and four there. And four and eight there. With that eight, we can fill those in. And a two and a four go there. And that's it. All right, well, not too bad. This could have been a pretty tricky puzzle, but we found a lot of twins and some triplets, and um, and that's because we saw quite a few different patterns as we started going. Uh, so that, so you can see, I I solve things a little bit differently than most um, solvers out here on YouTube, and uh, um, <clears throat> hopefully that helped you understand how you can solve puzzles without marking candidates. Well, thank you again, Timberlake, for collaborating with me. 
and all of you who are fans of smart hobbies, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please go to Sudoku Primer and check out my channel. And I'll see you on the next one.